Hello, and welcome to Backbone Screencast number one, booting your application. I'm Nick Gauthier, and today we're going to be looking at three different ways that you can boot up a Backbone application. So we're starting off with this index file, and we have a little place for our application to boot up and launch in. So if we take a look at the index.html file, you'll see we've got our basic HTML down here and our div application target. We've also got the JavaScript libraries necessary to run Backbone, jQuery, underscore, Backbone, and our own application.js. Ah, the empty source file. Sometimes this is the hardest part of your application, actually going from zero to one mile an hour. So what we're going to do here first, just to make sure everything's all wired up, is set up a jQuery on ready that's going to find our application and just fill it in with a little text. So now when we refresh our page, here's our hello world. So this looks good, but let's actually do it with some backbone. In this example, I've been using CoffeeScript so far. If that's not familiar to you, check the uh, notes in the description, and I'll post a link to CoffeeScript's documentation page, and you can check out the differences. For the most part, hopefully it should look pretty straightforward, and if I do anything crazy, I'll explain it. So, what we've got to do to set up our Backbone application is set up a router. Now I'm going to be doing this all in the same file, which is something I don't really recommend in a real application, but for our sake it's a lot easier to read everything if it's on one page. So my router is going to have some really basic routes. The index with uh, really no route on it is going to match the index method. And my index method is simply going to do what we were doing down here, except we're going to change it to hello backbone world just to make sure everything's working. Now in our on ready, this is where we actually have to boot our backbone application. So the router needs to be instantiated. And also we need to tell Backbone to start looking at routes. All right, let's check it out. Hello, Backbone world. OK, so our application is booted. And this is the first style. Pretty much the simplest way that you can do it is having an on ready that boots your application. Now this may work for a single page application where you're only ever going to load this JavaScript file on that single page. But it's not that flexible, because this JavaScript file couldn't be included with all the rest of the JavaScript in our application. It couldn't be concatenated together with jQuery and underscore and backbone into one single file, because any page that it loads on would load the entire application. So what we'd really like to do is have our application in some kind of uh, encapsulated library in a way that we could call it only when we really want it. The easiest way to do this is to set up a boot method here in our source file and then call it from index.html. So what we're going to do is instead of jQuery on ready, we're going to set up our own application. So I'm going to say window.application equals and I'm going to have just one thing on it right now which is a boot method. And this is going to take the place of jQuery's on ready. So if we check out our um, index.html file right now, nothing really interesting is going to happen because we're not calling this anywhere. So what we need to do is go over to our index. And now just in this page, we're going to call our boot. So right before the end of the body, I'm going to put a script tag in. And in here, I'm going to say um, jQuery when you're ready call my applications boot. So now the booting of the application has been put in the HTML file right alongside where the application is going to go. That means that our source file is actually pretty innocuous. It's not actually going to do anything on its own. It's just going to define our application, which is going to define this boot method. So that means we can include 
all of these JavaScript files concatenated together on all of our pages, and it's only on the page that we actually want to boot it, we'll include this little script tag, and that'll boot it up. One more thing we're going to do is uh, change this up a little bit so we can tell that it works. So now we'll say, um, hello application. Let's check it out. There we go. So now our application is booting with a jQuery on ready that calls our app from the HTML file. This is a really good technique for single page applications, where pretty much the entire point of this index.html file is to boot the application. And so I think it's OK to throw a little JavaScript in here. However, there's a different kind of backbone application. Um, and those are the smaller, more widget style applications. And that's where the whole page is being rendered server side, but then maybe only a small part of it is being powered by backbone. It'd be kind of messy to have a script tag like this way at the bottom of, let's say, a 300 line template and have it be referencing an application up near the top. They aren't really going together all that well. So what we're going to look at now are some ways of booting our application unobtrusively. So what that means is we're going to take this script tag out. And on our div, instead of giving it an ID, what we're going to do is give it a data binding. So we're going to say data application equals true. So this is saying this div is an application div. This div should be replaced with our application in some way. This makes a lot more sense when, instead of just being a general application, maybe this is something like data slideshow. And in here, we've got a couple of divs with a couple of images. And we're going to show a slideshow of these. And then we've actually got maybe three of these on the page. It's a great way to boot up a little widget a whole bunch of times. For now, let's just make it our application. So if we look over here, now we really have nothing that's going to boot anything in our app. So first of all, let's change this string. Hello, unobtrusive application. If we check out our index.html page now, nothing's really happening. So what we have to do is add an unobtrusive boot in our JavaScript file. So what we're going to say is on page ready, find all of the applications. And for each of them, we're going to boot our app within this element. So to make this a little bit more uh, flexible, we're going to have to get rid of this application ID here because that's not even going to work anymore. So what we're going to do is in our jQuery iterated selector here, um, this is going to be the div element or any DOM element that matches data application. So I'm going to make a little shortcut and say dollar this is a jQuery wrapped of this. And now here I'm going to say application dot boot and I'll pass my jQuery wrapped element in. So now I'm going to have to pass this guy down through my app. So up here in boot, we've got um, our dollar $L. And on our router, we're also going to say um, pass down the dollar $L. Actually, there's a nice little shortcut for this in CoffeeScript. It says pass this down as itself. And then we're going to start the application our router is going to need to capture this. So here we can say my element is coming from options element. And then down in our index, now we can say populate my element. So now we've really nicely decoupled our application from our DOM markup. It's really only down here where we say find the data applications and we wrap them up. In fact, since we're only doing this once, let's pop it in here. That's nice. So when our application boots up, we can pass this DOM element down, which means that we could actually have a couple apps like this. Let's check it out. There we go. Hello, unobtrusive application. So there you go. We've got three different ways to boot our application. The first one, using a simple onReady and running it in our JavaScript file. 
The second one, which was to, was to define an application and then call that application on the source file itself to boot the application. And the third one here, which is using unobtrusive selectors to find and boot the application. Now, one thing I want to note is that the unobtrusive style isn't going to work that great with a router, just because if you have a couple different applications on your page, the routers are going to kind of step on each other's toes since they're all going to match the same route. So if you're going to go unobtrusive, it may make more sense to just directly call a view in Backbone and not use a router, and really only have one router on your page when you're doing something like a single page application. Whereas the second solution of calling the script tag in your HTML file makes more sense. I hope you enjoyed the first Backbone screencast. And if you like this and you're interested in seeing some more patterns, check out my book, Mobile Web Patterns with Backbone JS.